All right, it's that time again. Time for more of the amazing creatures that share this planet with us to make their debut in Planet Zoo. Ooh, hey, animals this time. <gasps> African porcupine! I have some of their quills, like, right behind me right now from having visited one yesterday. Or not yesterday, last year. Good grief, I wish it was yesterday. <laughs> oh, and as usual, that was way too brief a glimpse. So let's glance over that again. And here we go. A much slower moment to go ahead and step into the sands of the new Planet Zoo arid animal pack and i will just say up front two things the first thing is that yes i too was kind of on tether hooks waiting for the birds i am so ready for birds i know we have a few birds yes yes cassowary peacock flamingo I'm, I'm not ignoring the penguins or all of the others either but now that we have the free flight aviaries that have beautiful things like butterflies and our fruit bats in it I'm really ready to start stepping foot into the vast world of the avians that share this planet with us because I'm more than mildly obsessed with birds, as you guys know by now. However, it is very exciting to see some of these animals that have been on people's wish lists for so long finally make their debut, including, and here's the second thing I'm just going to get out of the way, sand cat kittens are the most ridiculously cute things ever. Yes. Yes, they are. How do I know that? I know that because the sand cats at our nearby zoo, the North Carolina Zoo, which is a really great AZA accredited zoo, have had kittens. So Sahara and Cosmo are the name of the female and male sand cats that are at the uh, North Carolina Zoo. And they have recently had three absolutely adorable spotted little kittens who look surprisingly like, you know, a domesticated cat's kittens, except you can already start seeing the way that their jaw is a little bit bigger and the way that they're going to have really, really big ears. And I remember when we last visited the North Carolina Zoo for a behind the scenes tour, we actually got to see Cosmo and we got to see um, Sahara and they were really excited and hoping that the two of them had already gotten to the point where they were expecting kits. But that was over a year ago. It does not take a year for sand cat kittens to be born. So apparently they didn't have kittens then, obviously. And now that they have, I feel like it's so fitting that we get to go ahead and we get to add sand cats into our zoos now, as well as the dromedary camel, which is the one humped camel, which I really, wow. Oh, you know, it just hit me. I wonder if that movement they were doing just here, I wonder if it might actually be um, like they move in herds, kind of in the lines that they do in herds when they're actually in the wild. And I'm very surprised at how excited I am by the two types of hoofed antelope. I think they're both antelope that are going to be added to. And I'm really excited about the new exhibit species because it's going to be a snake. So let's go take a little peek at those guys. Oh, also about the African porcupines. There's also an African porcupine hanging out with the sand cats at the North Carolina Zoo. Not in the same exhibit, obviously, but I got to go ahead and meet her and we actually got to take home a few of her quills because the porcupines do shed their quills not only for defense, but also because the quills are made of keratin, which is the same stuff that like our hair is made out of, that our, our fingernails and toenails are made out of. And so they shed their quills kind of regularly. <gasps> oh, look at that cool color pattern. I didn't notice, but there's actually an interesting color pattern on one of the camels, a little hint of what you might be able to find. And maybe I'm just imagining things, but that one looks a little bit paler, more so than usual. Oh, and they even have the camel lift its head up properly when it is drinking. That's so exciting. Ah, but let's go ahead and take a peek at the beautiful screenshots as our little sneak peek of the new additions. And look at those. You know, every single time that we get access to a new, a new set of animals for Planet Zoo, I kind of wish I could just sit down with you guys, just like flop on the ground, find a nice tree stump, a nice mossy rock or something, and just talk about how amazing it is because all of the animals that they are bringing in, like little DLC pack after little DLC pack, are from our world. We share this planet with them. And in a lot of cases, we actually outnumber the entire species of some of these animals quite 
immensely. Uh, I'm thinking of like, oh man, you know, some of the leopards, the lions, the giraffes, like there's a lot of species where there's just not that many of them left, pandas, but I just find that really humbling just to kind of sit and we look at these beautiful pictures and we think about like, yes, I cannot wait to add them into my pixel zoo. And I just love the idea that somewhere out there in the world right now is a camel, probably spitting at someone. And we'll talk more about the spitting in just a second, but we do have the camels coming on in, which I also think is fun because you guys probably know that this week the 1.20 update for Minecraft released officially and camels happen to be one of the creatures in it. And let's just say I have some plans there. But for now, we'll also look at the porcupines. <laughs> okay, okay, the African porcupine and the American porcupine are really fascinating because they actually developed their quills separately. So they did not like come from the same common ancestor, which was some sort of quilled creature. The African porcupine and the North American porcupine actually independently evolved their quills, which I just think is so amazing. But that's also part of why they look so different from one another. And I, I never really have paid attention to how they have like a peacock tail of quills before. I'm very much in love with that. And I'm really excited to learn more about them because I actually have no idea what it looks like when they give birth. I have no idea how many babies they have. What is a collective noun for porcupines? Like a prickle? Is it a prickle of porcupines? Because that's adorable. <laughs> So I'm going to have a lot of fun learning alongside you guys more about the African porcupine. And then we have some of the antelope with their beautiful horns. And I'm going to have to double check because I'm going to admit, I don't really know my antelope. I should, because once again, as we're able to kind of slow down and focus on these individual species and spend a long time trying to figure out how to make them feel healthy and happy and thrive in our planet zoo zoos, it's making me realize like, oh, wow. There's a lot more antelope species out there than I realized. One of the creatures I'm a little disappointed didn't make it into the arid pack, but I would love to see if we're talking about antelopes is the Saiga. And boy, and we can definitely talk more about things that I would have on my Planet Zoo wishlist later, because for now, I just want to celebrate the, the creatures that we are going to be able to add on in. And also the scenario where there's a bunch of llamas and Tiffany is apparently up to something again. <laughs> I don't know if we'll actually follow through on Tiffany's scenarios because I have been so busy trying to go ahead and take good care of our pixel zoo, uh, our pixel sanctuary and kind of redo it. And I think my hands are full over there, but I do think it would be quite fun to see if we could bring to life a few other places in some other zoos. And I've been thinking, what if we start working on kind of building a little city? or like a little village. So instead of focusing on running an entire zoo, what if we tried to have a forest, a little like fantasy fairy tale forest filled with cabins and we're kind of building the world so that the wildlife is wrapped in and around the little village, kind of like what we were doing in Ice Ice Outpost, but hopefully for the love of everything that's good with better path arrangement <laughs> and a little bit less chaos. I don't even want to start thinking about those billy goats under the bridge. No, we're not we're, we're not going back to those ice ice outpost memories, friends. Let's carry on. Uh, <gasps> sand cat! Yes! So there is a sleeping sand cat right here. Clearly everyone is extremely excited to see it. I I had no idea one of those toe beans. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Now I'm 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 already really on board, but now I'm really, really, really on board. So Coming in hot, it's the Planet Zoo Arid Animal Pack. Discover the miraculous wildlife of the world's dunes, deserts, and dusty plains by welcoming eight incredible new species to your zoo. These impressive animals include seven habitat species and one exhibit reptile, all emerging from the rocks, ridges, and sandy dunes of Earth's parched plains, sun-baked steeps, steps, sorry, <laughs> and driest deserts. Among them are the one-humped dromedary camel, sprightly dama gazelle, and distinctive African porcupine, crested porcupine, mind you. Alongside these unique additions, the Arid Animal Pack also features an all-new challenge. Rich socialite Tiffany Summers needs your help to found an extraordinary zoo in the Arabian desert. Get, and then the eight incredible animals gaze through the heat haze. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I bet the guests are just going to die unless we get some proper cooling in for them, huh? <clears throat> 
Gaze through the heat haze to discover eight amazing new creatures. Introducing the Dromedary Camel, African Crested Porcupine, Adax, Simoleon Wild Ass, Black White Rhino, Sand Cat, Dama Gazelle, and the exclusive Desert Horned Viper. Elusive, pardon me. I was like, what do you mean exclusive? I'm like, the only place we're going to be able to get snakes is here. Oh my gosh. All right. So the Desert Horned Viper is also really cool. I kind of wanted them to go with the Spider Tail Viper who has a tail that has a tip attached to it that looks like a spider and they use to lure in birds. But again, I want to celebrate the animals we do have as well. Black Rhino being a very exciting one to see too. Watch as your guests observe these remarkable new species with wonder as you construct beautiful habitats that reflect their sunny native homes. Though, you know what? I feel like if you could ask a camel, do you want to live on the sand dunes or do you want to like live in somebody's backyard? I'm pretty sure it would pick like a more climate controlled condition, most likely. <laughs> and there's also new animations uh, that we're going to need to go ahead and talk about because this, this is what I warned all of you about. Do you remember the tropical pack? Do you remember my leery, leery gaze at the llamas? Yeah. I warned you. I warned you all this was going to happen. I was ahead of the game on it. And no, 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 don't worry about the llamas, Siri. They're not going to spit on you, Siri. Even though they spit on you every time you see a llama in real life, I'm sure these llamas are going to be nice, Siri. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy watching your new animals settle into your zoo and marvel at their unique behaviors. Make sure your guests keep a respectful distance from the dromedary camel. If unnerved, this proud animal has been known to spit at nearby visitors. To spit on nearby visitors. We will talk more about the update in just a moment, but let's just say uh, that spitting behaviors are going to be added in. <laughs> Where if they get too close, if guests might be in for a surprise next time they're a little too close to your habitats. Some animals will now exhibit uh, spitting at guests as a new behavior. Yeah, yeah. The camels, the llama, they can spit at your guest in game, so you'll want to keep an eye out to spot this behavior in action. Luckily, guests who experience spitting behaviors firsthand won't have their happiness impacted. How understanding. Yeah, tell that to 10 year old me and that traumatizing birthday with a llama, okay? I, I mean, I don't know. Was it with that moment that somehow I just was like marked as somebody that llamas will hate forever? <sighs> kind of, I want to see what happens if we add them in now. <sighs> On a sweeter note, you will also catch sight of the endearing sand cat, one of the smallest species in Planet Zoo. This feline will use enrichment items such as the rubbing pads and cardboard box in wholly unique ways, while the shy African crested porcupine will enjoy burrowing and ex exploring its habitat, but might raise its impressive quills if feeling cautious. Watch the Somali wild ass trot with delight and hear them bray as they communicate with each other. Pay close attention and satisfy the wants and needs of these incredible creatures to see them thrive under your care. Yay! Okay, that will actually be really cute watching the little the little ones trot about. Uh, that makes like three hoofed species for, I mean, dromedary camel too. Interesting. And then of course we need to go ahead and take care of the scenario if you would like. I'm pretty happy with this. Like, I get... <sighs> I'm actually not much of a heat lover. Uh, but I'm also not much of a cold lover either. I, I, I mean, who knows? Maybe it's the fact that I've got a lot of Hawaiian, like, family and I'm Hawaiian. Maybe I'm just used to nice, tropical, like, comfortable environment year-round. <laughs> it's in the blood. But I am really happy to have a chance to go ahead and learn more about all of these beautiful animals and especially the antelope. I really feel like I'm not giving them enough credit considering how important the migration of all of those hoofed species um, really, really, really is with the wildebeest and the gazelles and everything else that move, like the zebras, that move in the great migration across Africa. That has actually impacted and affected the way the ecology around the entire planet develops. And that wouldn't happen if we didn't have a whole bunch of antelope, right? And a whole bunch of different species. We wouldn't have jaguars, we wouldn't have lions or hyenas, most likely, to go ahead and enjoy if we didn't have did I say jaguars? Leopards. Leopards, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm mixing up my spots again. Anyway, you guys get the idea. I think that it's easy, even for me, to go ahead and overlook antelope and other ungulates. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with them. Uh, and of course the sand kitten. Yeah, yeah, I, I know who's gonna be the most popular. I know who everyone's gonna really love. <sighs> and 
Alongside of the new DLC, as usual, comes a new update, update 1.14, which is going to add not only the spitting behaviors, but a couple other features that I'm really looking forward to. One of which is Staff Flexicolor! Now I can go ahead and I can turn some of you guys, especially some of our amazing patrons, into special colors! I had no idea I wanted that until we got it. And now that we have it, I am so excited. Now we're going to be able to have color options for our, our different staff uniforms, and you can combine them in a whole bunch of different ways. Like if you look here, you can see like, oh, we've got pants, shirt, and hat, all different colors, and shoes as well. So that way we can go ahead and we can create custom color schemes for your favorite members of staff through their individual info panel, or select different color ways for each staff type through the staff overview screens. So you can get an at-a-glance overview of where they they are in your zoo. The decision is yours. That is exciting because it would be really fun to be able to like mark different staff members who are like the experts of their field or maybe just like leave one staff member kind of like a bright color like a where's Waldo thing and set them loose to see where they end up in the zoo. <laughs> And the other thing I'm really looking forward to is the scenic camera mode. We'll be able to create smooth vista shots through the zoos. So you can go ahead and you can use, and I'm not going to show you guys this camera spin, by the way, because it's a spiral and it made me so dizzy. Uh, but there are going to be different ways you can have predefined camera behavior so that you can set up something to really be able to, to show off the beauty of your zoo in a new way that's not just kind of like the jerking side to side that sometimes happens when you're trying to do those pretty shots. And I'm really looking forward to that and I might do a lot more kind of ambient little shorts maybe just to share moments of the beauty in the zoos that we've built and maybe you know the future little forest full of uh, fantasy and foxes that i think would be really fun to build and there's also going to be a root editor and that's kind of shown off up here as you can see and that is going to make it so that you can go ahead and you can make a like really interesting animation mode where you can kind of guide everybody through like you can guide the camera to go from this point to this point to this point to rotate a certain direction to focus or zoom in a certain direction and you can hide the ui while you're going ahead and you're just kind of like riding along this peaceful route through your zoo which i think could be so much fun to explore other people's full built zoos that you can find on like the steam workshop and just kind of have your own tour through it in a really relaxing and and soothing way that's that's a very creative addition and i'm really happy to see that such significant changes like entirely overhauled camera modes are coming and animations as well with everything that they're updating in planet zoo because it's been like a few years since it's come out trust me i know because chips and i recently celebrated our third year wedding anniversary and he like he proposed after like planet zoo came out because of the trip we went on with them <laughs> So yeah, I'm really happy to see such a significant and hopefully really transformative addition because it seems like a small thing, but think about it. You guys are here because of how we're able to visualize all of the stories that can be told in our zoos. <sighs> so I'm happy, not birds. Still staring into the distance right now, thinking, dreaming, waiting for the beauty of birds to take over. But for now, I have no problem playing with the porcupines. So all right, guys, let me know which one you are looking forward to. I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to say Sand Kitten, but I could be delightfully surprised. And if you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures at which I hope not to be spit at... Wait, can camels spit in Man Minecraft too? Oh no. <sighs> in which I hope not to be spat at too much by my arch nemesis, the llama. Then you guys know what to do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.